another Let's Talk About It video, and today we're going to take on what I think is a controversial topic, and that is iOS or Android, which is better, and we're going to talk about that today, um, and I'd like to see you guys put your preference in the comments if you can, and we're going to talk about it and tear it down, and I'll give you my perspective, and I think I do have a little bit of a perspective, because I happen to have owned and been using for the last six months what I believe to be the best devices you can own in either category. Number one, I did have a, Sam I started out with a Samsung A50, which was probably one of the, at the time, I'd say a very strong budget device. And then I, then I graduated up to a uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3, which in my opinion is one of the best Galaxy devices you can own today. And while at the same time, I also was using um, the iPhone 12 Max and also now my iPhone 13 Pro, which I happen to believe is a fantastic device for the gig economy. Now, question is, what is best for the gig economy? And I'm going to tell you, hardware-wise, there is nothing more beautiful than this device right here, guys. I mean, it is svelte. It's awesome. I've got the Spigen um, Slim P case, which, ha which has a place for the pen. And let me tell you, this thing is a beast. Now, here's where the problems go wrong. The concept of this, if Android could get the system right, this would be the absolute king of gig apps because what you can do with this, which is pretty incredible, is you can actually put up, and I'll throw a screenshot up to show you what it looks like, you can actually have three apps working at the same time. You can have four or five because you can have, um, Place. And let me, I'll give you an example of that where I've got actually like five apps open at the same time. Here's where it gets a little wonky. The problem is, is the Android operating system is very, very buggy within the, the DoorDash app. It's buggy within the Uber app. The bugs come out. And when you go into these modes, which is not a natural state for this device, it really gets a little crazy. Now, if you're using it just a one-off, one app on here, it does pretty good, but then the bugs get you. DoorDash has some major bugs. Um, Grubhub is okay, but if it, it the, the one, Grubhub and Uber Eats struggle if there's an update, and if you miss the update, it can, it can almost shut you down completely, in my experience. Um, not fond of it at all with Instacart or Shipped. The bugs are what makes this a problem. The hardware is excellent. The design is excellent. The concept is excellent. The software, on the other hand, way, way too buggy. Now, that brings me to iOS. Now, what I like about iOS and why, I'm a, why I am and always will be an iPhone user as my primary devices and my business devices is it is so very very nice okay and what do i mean by that um it's well it's finished it has a finished feel to it um it's a very um clean feel it's a very clean experience um and it's no bugs um now if you don't update your app Occasionally, you can get a freeze or your app will freeze, but it's nowhere near the crazy bugs that the DoorDash app has, where you can literally get caught in a, in a death loop where it just keeps popping up the order, the, the previous order. It locks up. It'll lose connection. I've walked into restaurants where I've had my iPhone, and I've been able to very, very easily um, and seamlessly use my uh, DoorDash app in that restaurant, and it doesn't work. Now, so my verdict is, if you're gonna, the, the king of the gig apps right now, and again, that doesn't mean Android can't figure it out or Samsung can't figure it out, but it's gonna take collaboration between the apps and Android, and I just don't think that's gonna happen. I think the fact that Apple has full control over this and the quality of apps that go in it makes it much, much easier. Um, and the fact that Apple develops the phones that work with their operating system exclusively makes it much easier. So my recommendation would be iOS 100%. And then when you can set up this, a multi-app platform right on your iOS device, this is the king of how you can make it work for you. Now I started out multi-apping on two different iPhones 
at sometimes three different iPhones. I feel like that's a great training tool, that that's a way you can train yourself to deal with multi-apping. However, I now use my iPhone Pro 13 exclusively. Now, if you enjoy or want a bigger screen, you could go with the Max. I don't particularly care for the bigger screen. This is perfect for my hand. This is perfect for convenience. This is the perfect tool right here. And this is this multi-app platform. When you learn how to use this and utilize this to your favor, it, it's game changing. And I'm gonna put an app out explaining and showing and demonstrating exactly how I do it. Because to me, it's just the simple little things that, hey, you're not thinking about that. You know, you're not thinking about how simple you can make it be, but something like organizing your phone just like this, having a phone specific for business, is key now the best the best iphone in my opinion for of the i of, of the iphones right now is the is iphone 13 now uh the iphone 13 pro that is now you could use a mini you could use a 13 you're going to get a great experience regardless um in fact what i would say is that if someone's just starting out the best phone you can get with deagle wise and they can do everything you needed to do is the and it's one you can get for free on some carriers is the iphone se and there's going to be a new se coming out soon so i would encourage anyone who you know doesn't have a thousand dollars to spend or doesn't want to be on the hook for big payments although i have some things to say about that because you can use that to your favor to to your advantage for tax purposes but anybody who doesn't want to have to come up with that money up front and pay that money hey go with the iphone se you can set this up, you can set up a deal, and I'm thinking about possibly purchasing an SE just for the purpose of putting out the most budget-friendly package that you can have to run your gig business with. And just demonstrating it and showing it um, and saying, here it is, Here's the, here's the here it is. It may be doing a giveaway on my channel, but we'll see uh, how it goes. I've got to get more subscribers, got to get closer to where this thing can start maybe making a little bit of money and it'll be a give back. I think if we get to a thousand subscribers, we may do that. We may do a little starter pack giveaway for gig business operators out there, be, you know, in, in commemoration. But anyways, guys, that is my verdict. iOS is the best. Go with iOS. Don't mess around with Android um, at this point. And that's my recommendation. Now, I know there are people out there who do, don't like iOS, and I'm not saying Android isn't, isn't, it's not possible to work with Android, but I believe for the, for the, for the most um, easiest experience, the least headaches, uh, and to me, every second counts. So when you're getting a delay or a breakdown because of your hardware, that's costing you money. So to me, it's a money deal. Um, and if you are a personal user of Android, and that's fine, cool. Um, then you can go out and get the iPhone SE and make that your work device and you will have a perfect, perfectly decent experience um, with that device. I mean, there will be no problem with your experience that you're going to have and it will work great for you. So guys, that's my conclusion. If you got something out of this, if you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying these, let's talk about it. Please comment, give me your opinion, tell me what you use, tell me your feelings. Tell me your experience with the Android phones and, and, and what type of phone you were using, what particular phone, because maybe there's an Android phone I can go out and purchase and try it with, and maybe I'll have a different experience. And let's talk about it, guys, all right? And uh, and also, at the same time, like, share this video with anybody you think you get something out of it, uh, and, uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching.